Hey guys, welcome here to another tutorial. Uh, well, I guess this isn't another one. This is my first tutorial of uh, how to make a Android app using the App Inventor for Android. Uh, now, this version of uh, the App Inventor is currently in beta, but it's it's ver very very promising. Um, I've been using it just a little bit over a day now, and I've already made uh, my first uh, decent OK app. And I'm going to uh, show you how I did it. Um, now, if you've ever used a uh, Visual Visual Basic or anything like that, then this 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 version of uh, App Inventor is perfect for you. Okay, um, it makes it a lot easier, and uh, you know, it just it, it's it's a whole lot of fun. Uh, now we basically got a bunch of columns here. We got the palette, the viewer, which is basically just shows you the screen. Uh, the components where all the functions individually lie, uh, you, know, you can edit it and all that stuff, just make sure it's selected. Uh, you can set the height and all that good stuff. Okay, and then right to the right, right of that is the properties manager. Uh, this will show you how to, uh, you know, you could do all your, edit all your stuff. Okay, now first, uh, what we're going to do is actually show you how to uh, um, do a put horizontal uh, arrangement on there because uh, everything's set in stacks when you first uh, when you when you put it in there. So this horizontal uh, arrangement will actually help you, uh, you know, set stuff horizontal rather than just stacked, which is vertical. Okay. So we're going to add this in here, and you notice that blue line. This blue line shows you exactly where your function is going to lie when you press it down there okay so we just put it down there and we got it highlighted okay so what we need to do next is actually add a couple of buttons so we'll go down to the to the basic tab on the palette part we'll add a button just make sure it's sitting in the horizontal arrangement which it is and we'll just go down to text and we'll delete the text because we don't need any text and then we'll go to an image and actually upload the image I've already uploaded all the images so you'll have to do that yourself but you can do that pretty easily okay so we got that there and uh, all this is uh, 125 by 125 all these images are so uh, all these are going to be lined together so if you have images with different sizes you're going to have to edit that yourself or you can just edit it down here but never recommend that because it's going to just change the zoom it's not going to change the image itself okay so what we'll do next is uh, go ahead and add another button so we'll add that in there and drop that and then we'll just do basically the same stuff we just did uh, got that there just delete that text and add cat nine which cat nine's my favorite cat you can see him sitting in the wicker chair there <laughs> so uh... so now we got all the uh... images in place so we got them all lined up um, you know in in the horizontal arrangements and all that okay so what we need to do next is um, add sound to it uh, now to add sound to it we're just going to go to media and we're going to drag and drop anywhere onto the screen and what it's going to do is show up a non-visible component it's not going to show anything on the screen, but it will show in the functions part when you do your block editor. Okay? So we got the sound 6, we got it highlighted, and we're just going to select a, uh, a random sound. I only got five, five sounds, so I have to repeat using the first one, okay? So we got our six sounds together and all that. So now we can uh, actually go to uh, the block editor. Just showing you to make sure that you have when you put your uh, sounds in there that you do have a source because if you don't have a source, it's uh, not going to uh, play anything. It'll just be blank, and you'll be wondering what the fuck. So it'll be just a lot easier to, to check your work and all that stuff. Make sure everything's even and lined up right. And also, if you want to change your the screen name like I did, you just click, click screen one. You can edit the title. Okay. <coughs> and now what we're going to do is open the block editor. Uh, you do that uh, right top where I just clicked, and you just go ahead and open it. It's a Java-based uh, script uh, or program. It's not a script; it's a program. Uh, 
and I'm just checking my shit there, making sure everything's still lined up, but it didn't line up right, so I'm doing this over again. Uh, I'm actually just voice over in the video that I voice over. <laughs> so, uh, you'll have to bear with me here, but, uh, you know, I'm still, I'm still following along pretty well, so hopefully it doesn't seem like all fucked up, but it shouldn't be. Uh, but anyways, it, it, it takes a couple minutes for it to open and all that stuff, and in the process, um, you know, if, if anyone has any questions or any thoughts or comments or anything and, and needs to know how to actually do this, so they can just contact me, PM me, comment me, uh, send me a voicemail. I mean, not voicemail, but voice, I mean, uh, video response. Uh, yeah, don't call me on myself, <laughs> uh, but that's okay. And once you get the Java thing opened up, you know, it'll download and stuff like that. Um, and uh, also, I mean, this is, like I said, this is real basic. You know, this is as basic as it gets. You know, once you touch a cat, it's, it'll make a cat noise and then it's done. You know, it doesn't have any text or anything like that on it, but you can add that too if you would like. Um, you know, it'll just make it more fun. You can add, add a background image, you know, anything you really want. So, I mean, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. So it's it's starting to open up here. Oh, excuse me, I'm tired. This is like the 80th time I've fucking done this. Um, so we got this coming, and this this part right here, uh, it's going to ask you if you want to use your phone, use the emulator, or continue without a device. Now, if you use a phone, it'll actually if you plug it up and everything, it'll actually show you your device as it's playing. Okay. Now it's uh. It's pretty cool, so you can see it actually working on your phone. I had it on my on the last take I did. I actually had it on there, and I did the play. I played the cat noises on my phone, so you can kind of hear it. But I don't have that available right this minute, so you'll just have to uh, forgive me for that. Uh, and then use the emulator as actually using it on the computer itself. So uh, basically, what I'm doing here is just adding the buttons on here. It's a drag and drop process. You don't have to set it in any particular way. Uh, I just do it for uh, for ease, and then uh, see if you see on the first one it says button one click do call sound one dot play. So when you click button one, it will play sound one. So you just have to add add the big pieces and then add the jigsaw pieces on the inside. Okay, it's it's it pretty much at this point it's just a drag and drop process. Now these other things I don't know what they do like sound one dot vibrate. I guess it'll vibrate if you have a certain vibrate noise or something. I don't fucking know. I just know the basics of these. So, uh, if you're expecting something, you know, really, really high tech, then you picked the wrong video. This is just for basic, basic stuff. Okay? So, now that we got that done, uh, we can actually uh, connect, it, connect it to a device. This is what I'm doing right now. And, like I said, it plays the cat noise, but I don't have it available right now. So I'm not going to be able to do that for you guys. So I will just kind of end this right now and make it a little bit shorter because uh, I've done this, like I said, a thousand times. So, But uh, this is it. It's complete. You know, Once you connect it to the device, it will be on your device, and you can actually save it to your phone or save it to your computer, and uh, you'll be good to go. Uh, but if you guys have any questions, thoughts, comments, or whatever, just let me know, and I will help you out the best I can. All right, guys, take care.